All right, so Sharon, how long have you been training with us here at Testify? I have been at Testify for be two years in September. Two years in September. Yeah. Time flies. It does. <laughs> I look at my book and I started out with empty bars. Yep. <laughs> I couldn't lift anything. Isn't that funny looking back at what you used to be able to do and then you look at the weights that you're doing now? Yep. It's hilarious, <laughs> really. <Yeah. laughs> Why did you start training? I started training because I went to a family reunion and I saw a lot of people my age or a little older than me and they couldn't hardly get around. They had to have their kids help them get in cars. And, and I was talking to my son, Ryan. He said, Mom, if you want to be stronger when you get older, you need to strength train. And he told me he'd been doing some research and he recommended that I come here. And so really it was just to be stronger when I, I would like to be more mobile as I get older. Yeah, you, you, all, you want the quality of your life to yeah. be that much greater for, yeah. for that much If there's longer. anything I can do about it, yeah. yeah. How has strength training affected your life? Or are there things that you can do now that you couldn't do before? Maybe you look back and you realize, yeah. oh, like, I didn't used to do this before. Well, like I was telling you, I think it happens really gradually. You start lifting weights and you start actually putting some weight on the bar. and. It's just a gradual thing. I mean, I would, you know, drag the laundry down the stairs, you know, because I just didn't want to mess with picking it up. It was just easier just to drag it. And now, you know, I pick it up and I just walk down the stairs and I don't think about how much stronger I am or that it's really improved my life that way. I've noticed in my in the clothes that I wear, I've dropped a whole size in, in, in the time I've been doing this. And it just, again, it happened gradual. It was like, I get out my winter clothes the next year, and I was like, well, these are all a size too big. This is really not. <laughs> That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. What is your favorite thing about Testify, if you have one? Um, <laughs> surprisingly, it's not lifting weights. <laughs> That's fair. Fair it's, point. It's the people that I met here, the friends I made. Um, you know, I just really enjoy being here and, you know, giving people a hard time and whatever. <laughs> I mean, it's, you are the queen of that. Yeah, so I don't know about that. But yeah, it's really being around the people. And where else can you go early in the morning, have people scream and yell at you and encourage you, say, you got this, you can do it. Keep on, keep on, keep on. And then you do it. I mean, it's just a really boost, I think, to a person's self, maybe self-esteem, you know, when you have people cheering for you. I, I hate getting up at 420. But when I'm done, I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I don't really have a favorite lift because I don't really like any of them. <laughs> but it's people asking me, I would I have to say the deadlift just because when you say I, I've deadlifted 250 pounds, people are, oh my gosh, no way. You know? <laughs> and I feel that same way. I never, ever thought I would lift 250 pounds. You know, old lady, you just can't do that. <laughs> but you can yeah. Now, speaking of the deadlift, you have a powerlifting meet coming up in like two days. Yes. Uh, any any goals going into this powerlifting meet? <laughs> well, <laughs> I would like to go to beat my last lifts, really. I mean, I'd, I'd like what's, to what's your best deadlift right now? My best deadlift is 250. My best squat is 200. And my, and my bench press is 100. Is it 100? I think it's 100. 100 yeah. 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 So, I mean, if I could just go over a couple pounds, I'm not <laughs> the super achiever just enough to say I did better. I think those are all good goals. All good goals. All right. Least favorite lift? It would be the press. Press. Because it's the lowest number. <laughs> um, I would encourage them not to give up. If they, eat, if they don't see the progress they're wanting right when they want it, I would encourage them to, to keep, keep going. When I first started, I Sunday night, I would have trouble falling asleep just thinking about coming in here and squatting Monday morning. And I would worry about, am I going to be able to lift it? But if you keep if you keep it going, if you just be determined about it, you know it it gets better. <laughs> I would say try it, give it a shot. I, I mean, even after I join, there would be days where I go. Why did I listen to my son? <laughs> like, I just cannot do this. But I think you get addicted to it in a way. I mean, I hate to miss now. You know, it's like it's throwing my schedule off or I'm not going to, you know, I just, 
I just try to do everything I can not to miss my workout. But I would just say, you won't know if you don't try. Just try it. I just would challenge them. Now, are you addicted to the actual lifting of the weights? I think so, okay. yeah. I do. I mean, you know, I, I want to see my numbers go up a little bit. Again, it doesn't have to be a lot. Right. Because you were saying something earlier about maybe not loving the actual lifting no, itself. I Describe that to me. I love it, <laughs> but it's necessary. Afterwards, you know, once I get through with my lift, you know, I'm really energized and and at six or seven in the morning, you know, I'm ready to go. I have to watch myself so I'm not speeding on the way home because <laughs> the, there's just all that energy there. So, yeah, I, I enjoy the lifting. I mean... I don't have a favorite. Yeah. <laughs> you enjoy the kind of the result. Uh, yes, the I result enjoy of the it lifting. When I'm done. Yes, yep. Oh, I get that completely. Absolutely. Well, since we've been stuck at home, I really haven't done a lot of reading, but I did start reading the um, Barbell Prescription book. The Barbell pres Prescription, yep. Yeah. By yeah. Sullivan and Baker. Yeah, I'm, you know, when you talk to someone who doesn't weight lift, their biggest fear is you're going to hurt yourself. I mean, I heard that so many times at the beginning, like, be careful, you know, you won't hurt yourself. And even from my primary care physician, it's, it's like, okay, now be careful. Yes. You know? yes. And so, which is not a bad advice, but it's not like I'm going to come in here and try to lift, you know, 500 pounds. Right. I mean, I'm not doing that. But, and so if you're a little worried, like I was scared at the beginning, and then you have people say, no, don't hurt yourself. You got to be careful. You know, it's sort of, you know, you have to just really with it but so anyway I started reading that book just to get a little more understanding of, of some things and it's, it's pretty interesting and the only movie that I've, I've been watching once once upon a time oh once upon a time yeah. yeah I had watched some of that years ago and so I thought well you know so I started watching it from beginning to end <laughs> <laughs> and that so but other than that that's about watch, it yeah that's it well that's great that and my grandkids that's that's the yes yeah well, thanks for subjecting yourself to the interview, and uh, good luck on Saturday. Okay, thanks. <laughs>